Well, hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is The Last Orokuru, developed by Gold Knights, and the publisher is Prime Matter, and came out a couple of months ago. Kind of had a rough launch, but they put a couple of pretty big updates out since then. It's gotten a lot more stable. Seems like the game's not too bad so far. Played a little bit. Thought we'd jump in, though, and start a brand new game, and... Currently, it is going to be 33% off until January 5th, so instead of $39.99, which is a little expensive for this kind of a game, it'll drop to $26.79, which is, I would say, a little bit more appropriate. And the final thing before we jump into a new game, if you could help me out and subscribe to the old channel, this is the 10th year of YouTube for me, I'd like to hit 10,000 subs at least, so help me out, and let's get some. All right. So, one of the big things with this game is you can uh, set it up and play um, single player. And um, it's a little bit into the game. I'll point it out, but you have to wait, go to a certain point, and then you can jump in, and then you and your buddy can play. glad that you're up. Navigator through the darkness of the space. And don't you worry, I'll take care of you. Your systems are rebooting now. But first, keep your eyes open. Alrighty, get a little tutorial here. And that's block. See, this is one that I probably will never use. One, because of the speed, and two, because you gotta go down and hit the control key. The biggest thing I've learned from combat with this is to take your time. Is that the combat doesn't quite meet the same. You guys will see once we first get into our first combat thing that there's not a lot of really solid reaction time. We have a mission. So let's and take you home. First, you need to find me. Just look for it. I'm a goddess living in their water. The lady of the lake. In the... Don't trust anybody except me. This game is a non linear experience that lets you shape the story and gameplay flow by your actions and decisions. It's a very choose-your-own-adventure kind of game. Well, you got three different factions, and you got to decide who you want to be with. What side you want to be on. Ah, the weakling arose after all. We had our doubts. I would blame that malfunctional belt of yours. Yet you seem fully operational now. Go. 
and start paying your debt. What? I'm not dead? I had this horrible nightmare and it felt so real. Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom of a long sleep of the Ascended. So how can I know you're not a hallucination yourself? Who are you anyway? I am Maltus, Patriarch of the Keepers. We will explain everything in good time. Come back later if you have questions. Now we need you to cooperate. Cooperate? Yes. You will proceed to Tobias for training. Like now? I mean, everything is still a little fuzzy. I would appreciate some time to... We would appreciate your immediate compliance. Without perfecting your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, you will be doomed to perpetual death, which... Hold on there. What? Perpetual death? Indeed. You bear the gift of immortality, hence... Immortality? So, I can't die? If you'd allow me to finish, you would have already known. No. You die ordinarily. Oh. Then you are born again. Such is the power of the belt you carry. We are analyzing it, and don't have validated outputs to share with you yet. What? That's all you have to say here? Yes. Now go and meet Tobias already. My servant will show you the way. Oh, just one more thing before you go. We shall call you Silver. Our regular naming proto- What? No, my name is- Oh, shit. I honestly have no idea. Yet we do. Silver was the only name available on your Christum. The naming protocol says it will have to suffice. I would much rather pick my name- Enough! We won't bend the principles that keep our world in order. But- Humans. Always disrespectable of the habits and cultures of others. The rat company will suit you. Hey, you rat. Alright, so a couple of things. First things first, this is our inventory. We don't have any potions, we don't have any weapons. This is how you level up in the game, and you get experience here. And then each time you go through their system to level up, this side raises. You can get mana health, stamina, all that stuff. We got gold to buy stuff eventually when we get to a vendor. Till then. Can't you see they're obviously getting a raw deal here? Well, they're rats. Nobody's gonna cook for them. Ha ha ha. Funny. You know, that's most likely why he was stealing food in the first place. Where is your sense of justice? Are you really trying to give me a sense of justice talk because I did the right thing and reported a theft? Why can't you be rational about this? I honestly think we have enough of our own problems here, like finding our spaceship and getting out of here. Oh, so now you are suddenly sure we have a spaceship. Well, no, but it's only logical. We couldn't have just appeared here out of thin air. Um, hello? Like that guy. Great to meet you, man. Ah, oh, sorry, my manners. It's Brian. Silver, likewise. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone in this mess. You're not. I'm Petra. Silver. Well, Silver, now you know everyone worth knowing around here. Oh, come on. Marco? True, he is a bit of an a-hole, but he's one of us. Great. Well, tell me everything. That spaceship, for instance. Honestly, we don't know much either. We all got the same briefing. Go and start paying your debt. Training. Now. <laughs> same for you? That's actually pretty accurate. Right, so you'd really better go now. If Tobias sees us delaying your training session, he will get pretty pissed. Brian is right. They take things quite seriously around here. But let's talk later. Tobias won't talk to you forever. Can't wait. Well, let's do this. See you soon, guys. See you, Silver. 
I'll be somewhere far away from this prejudiced hypocrite. Oh, come on. Can't we just... Uh, and that's the main dynamic right there. <clears throat> These rats are treated, I mean, horrendously bad. Last of the Ori crew. Ori crew. Oh, lonely. I always forget. I, I shouldn't. Uh, never mind. Just call me Silver. Loaded. I'm sorry you had to suffer the smell of those stinky rat asses along your way, Ascended One. We're short of ends these days. I'm Tobias. My meager self will be responsible for your training. We will follow standard protocols and have you ready shortly. Right. That dreamy, glowing stick behind you will be a part of the training too. The mighty rod of lightning? No. It certainly will not. I might not be the most competent teacher, but I can tell the limits of my pupils. And I will make you die with some dignity. Not just by accidentally frying yourself. Let me know when you're ready. I'll provide you with one lucky spar rat. Hmm. Well, dying with dignity doesn't sound like a great learning concept. Why don't you quit teaching if you think you suck at it? Oh, cheeky. I was like you once. Run of the litter. I had to fight more to get what I deserved. It forged me. Made me strong. A survivor. Still, my warriors are long gone. I'm old, tired and mutilated. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Best I can do is to make sure you won't be dying too often. I'd rather not die at all. So, training. How do we start? First, find yourself a sword in the armory. I won't bother you with another ratchet to lead you. It's easy to find. You just need to go back through the same passageway by which you came here. It's at my right hand. Once you're at the end of it, turn right. It's the first door just around the corner. There is a giant shield above, easy to spot. Equip yourself there and come back. Yeah, all basic stuff. So, if you go here into your pause menu, you can see These are the first two quests, and we need to go to the armory, which is right here, and we're right here. Can't really zoom in, but at least they did that before. They didn't do that at all. This uh, last update, so... <clears throat> a lot harder to find things, so... It's going to be all kinds of fun editing in this one. Because you can't always find what uh, you're looking for. Innkeeper. Not told more coming. Master's missing. Looking for sword? Talking rats? Right. This probably can't get any weirder. No offense, just never heard a rat talk before. They told me- They send pups for sword. Looking for sword? Probably. I should get something to train with. Yes. They not want you to destroy good blue steel, master. They give bronze first. Not as good metal. Uh, but the master picks. Edgy, slim, and with a tan exactly my type. How did you know? I give you best fun I have. Only one bronze left, so it easy. The same for complimentary shield. Complimentary? That's a complicated word. I did not say master. You did. Must hurt somewhere. Sorry. The bottle took straight, master. Now, sword one hand, shield another, and go train with other pups. Hope you'll be better than they. What did you mean by messy masters? They seemed rather strict and uptight. I not say that. Master's good, yes? Not say one thing, doing another. 
help me out here. Are big rats capable of irony? Are you trying to tell me something, you rat fink? Big rats, big iron. We like iron, yes. We make iron nice and sharpy and pointy to slice and stab. You will see. Tobias will see. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that sounded like a threat to Tobias. No, no, no threat. I not say. Shh. But Tobias not nice to us. We not like Tobias. He tortures. He kills. He proud of that. I swear on fiery prophet Amarvius, he bad. Oh, and here he seemed quite friendly to me. Maybe because you're not under our skin. What? You have no fur. Oh, right. Okay, and again you jump in. That's the easiest way when you get a new weapon to just go on the chart here, pop yourself in there. All right, so now we go back. Sword, shield. I feel ready. And silly, but mostly ready. Good. We'll follow the protocol and start easy. This is just a warm-up. More of an execution than a fight. That rat shit was stealing in the kitchen. Use it to find out how sharp your sword is. Wait a minute, I thought you said spar rats. Like in a non-killing practice sparring. <laughs> you are funny. It's just rats. We don't consider it killing. No, they're sentient. I don't even agree with that. Stealing in the kitchen? Surely you must be joking. I won't kill, sorry, execute anybody over that. Seriously? Disappointing. I mean, if it was a capital crime, maybe then... Perfect. This one took part in the previous uprising. Has the blood of many innocents on its paws. All right. I guess I only have myself to blame here. So, a killer and a rebel, right? Menace to society? Yes! Looks clumsy, but beware, they have trained him well. Who did? That ratkin renegade scum, hiding in that stinking volcano, killing our kin. They all deserve to be executed. Well, what do I know, right? And it feels like I don't have a say in this anyway. No. Here's a little healing help. Practice using it sparingly. Thanks. At least I have this going for me. Damn it. Here. Move. <clears throat> I said move, you overgrown rat. Oh, boy. Uh, your actions off the uh, delight one faction. Yep. Yep. Okay, I think we got everything we got here. We do. He's got a good shot. I feel rejuvenated. That serves that child-eating monster right. The soul of my poor niece can now ascend in peace. Well done, Silver. You'll be ready for the cradle and Livil soon. What cradle? And who is Livil? Oh, lowly. 
me and my premature informant. Focus. We will discuss the fortress later. First, something to restore your health. You'll be in dire need of it very soon. Now it's time to commence the real training. You will need some real weapons for that. Get them at the armory and come back. I might actually like to know what we are training for. Like, is it just for your personal vendetta? Is there a war going on or what? You're training to stay alive. That's all I usually say. I appreciate your spirit though, so uh, I'll be up front. You can't die. Such is the power of your belt. But do you see those rat pests around? Some of them got away and went wild. They started a strange fire cult. They hunt our people for meat and nibble them alive, even children. Or especially children. You know, tender meat, juicy bones. My niece disappeared like that. Sorry for your loss. How old was she? Not important. But the rats are abominations. We suspect they might attack. I suppose you don't want to be served on a skewer anytime soon. They could gnaw your meat piece by piece, and let the missing bits grow back. It might take weeks before you would die and be reborn. So, yes, you train to stay alive, but also undigested. And to help others keep their bodies intact too. So, do your best, even though probably it won't be enough. Fantastic. Okay. You are back again, Master. Yep. They sent me to- Yes, Master. Get better things to better kill our kin. Like you killed Dirk. Ratters just tell me. Shame. Here, take and go. Do your killing. I really hoped you'd be different, but you like Naboru after all. Give me a break. I really didn't have a choice, you know. We all have choice, Master. We can choose to help those who make others suffer, or we can choose to help those who suffer. Be sure you know what is better. Okay. Yep, there's Need more help? magic. <clears throat> like with your guilty conscience. Do you need any help? Thank you, Master. Do something for us now. We need something to heal our kin, Master. Many burned and tortured by Vaitis. They keep medical kits hidden from us. Bring one, Master. Stop calling me that. I'll see what I can do. Okay. So now we get to run around looking. <clears throat> I don't know, is it on the map? No, it just has the armory and device. It doesn't have anything else. So the game doesn't help you really. You gotta kinda look. But Alright, so Main front area. It's not real good. <clears throat> Getting things cleared up, but... And you want to grab all of these different little types of uh, 
piles because we'll need them to upgrade our armor and stuff once we get some. Fragment of legendary axe, huh? Ooh, fabric boots. So we currently have monk shoes. You can see highlighting yellow. The good stuff. And then it automatically equipped uh, Brute Ring, one to Intelligence, and one from Strength and Intelligence. So it takes away from those to add one. We got like a negative two currently on our... I was trying to think. I think there's another way I want to go. This might be as far as we can go right at the minute because certain things are locked certain ways and you have to unlock them from the other. Yeah, all right, we got to continue on, I think, here. Oop. Oh, goodies in there. What's up, Rod, dude? for injured practice so there you go. that medical kit yes master master brings i think i told you to stop calling me that sorry master this is all i could get will that do yes master thank you will save many burn and mutilated and look what i accidentally find May it make you stronger than messy masters. So, you have a little under the counter stash here. Everybody equal. Friends of our kin, more equal. I see. Well, thank you. I thank you. On behalf of Rat. Uh, we thank you. On behalf of Rat what? Shh. Rat volunteers. That's how they call us. Lot of irony around. Mm. But do not worry. Go train. Okay. I hope I won't regret this. All be good. Promise. Ring of fire. What is that? <clears throat> Ooh, okay. There we go. So now we got 5% uh, fire damage. All right. Time for more fighting. I see you are ready. Good. It's time for the next step. You will train with your human counterparts. I suppose you wonder why. And uh, no, not really. The idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine to me. Good. You might think that challenging Noboru or rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you will fight other humans are slim, but with them, you can always fight to the death. It is proven to bring the best results. And since none of you can really die, death is merely a technicality. That sounds like a rather painful technicality to me. It's the best way to learn in the short time we have. No second chances, no room for errors. You must do your best from the beginning. Well, let's do my best then. Marco, enter and commence. Ah. All right. 
It's time to kick the newbie's ass. What? Alive again. I can only presume you have lost to our best pupil. Her very un Tobias kept hoping somebody could replace Marco. Yet you've made it very clear it won't. Hey, I wasn't trying to repair. How could you? The power of immortality you possess was clearly bestowed upon unworthy loins. Could you just give me a break already? I've just died and it's all very. Silence. We have no time to waste on failures like. What was that? Oh, lowly. The Queen is coming. That's too early, too early. Give me your weapons. Tobias, dispatch the order crew to their respective missions and come back. We'll keep Silver here. He's not ready. Come! Hide now. When the time is right, sneak out and acquire the rod. I'll stall the Queen. Bring the lightning rod to the armor. I'll meet you there. Your Majesty, what an unexpected honor. Silence! Now go! Move in! Your Majesty, I don't understand words. Silence! You lowlife! You have broken your vows. Marshal, do you not- We know you are hiding forbidden technology, and- Dear Gracchus, follow the procedure. We first need to acquire a proof to support your claims. Patriarch, our guards are probing your premises rigorously, and if they find anything unorderly- Uh, to hide the lightning rod, sneak your way to the shrine, we spoke with Tobias, grab the rod and get the armory. I'm out! Nope, nope, guard right there. Wait till he turns around. I have to run to grab my uh, <clears throat> little experience we have. That rod is right down there. Guy comes up over there too. Oop. Damn it, now the guy's coming. As soon as he turns around, we'll go. I knew it. You are the one. Well done. Close the door. Perfect. 
Give me the rod now, so I can hide it. Here you go, but it was a very close cut. Next time, I'll just do the things my way. No more sneaking. Just give me the rod, quick! Here you go. Flawless. I will make sure it doesn't fall into unworthy hands. Oh, a secret room. Now it all makes sense. You stay out. It's not safe for you this time. Open the door! Uh-oh. The Queen is known to lose her temper. We should not make her wait. What are you two lovebirds doing here? Her Majesty asks for your presence. She wishes to speak with everyone in private, one by one. You first, go and see the Queen. Okay. Come closer. Ah, that's unlikely. An earthling. Our dear Gracchus was right. Allow us to take you for a walk. We need answers. Fast. And don't you try to fool us, Ascended One. Unlike our dim-witted half-brother, we don't dwell on old legends. Hold on. Could I also get some answers? Like, maybe right now? I have no clue whatsoever what's going on here. My memory is one black hole and nobody tells me anything. Like that Gracchus. What was he right about? Pardon us. We have spoken too harshly. We didn't know you were kept in oblivion. Our dear Gracchus says the Keepers are scheming. We are here to investigate. We presume that they have tried to make you part of their scheme. Yeah, I wish I could confirm or deny that. Well, rest assured that nothing you were told here is true. You can have faith in your Queen and confide in us. Now, come with us to the cliffs. We shall show you something. This used to be a breathtaking view. Glorious Wardinia. But now, the world, once orderly, is distorted. The rats can sense the change and lurk behind its veil. We also have those other lurking problems, Your Majesty. Indeed, Marshal. Let us finish. You see, Earthling, ghastly things are now vexing our realm. Twisted abominations, lightning weapons, we are here to put those monstrosities to a halt, yet the burden lies too heavy on our shoulders. If not a king by our side, as many say, we could use a friend right now. I have been here for literally just a few hours. Mm. Putting monstrosities to a halt probably wouldn't be my forte just yet. I got no Being armor. a friend, though, that could be arranged. Guards, bring those traitors. Uh. Uh. Uh -oh. Friendship is easy to proclaim, Earthling. We would prefer actions that speak louder than words. Tell us, friend, have you seen any such atrocities here? Warped mutants, lightning weapons? If so, speak freely. Our wrath will not fall upon you, and our gratitude is generous. Uh. So the two guys... Yeah, I, I, I'm going to report them on the lightning rod for the simple fact those two dudes are pieces of crap. They do have this unbelievable lightning spear of some kind. They keep it behind a secret door in the armory. Right. As we suspected. Unsurprisingly, uh, Gracchus was right. Patriarch Maltis, you have been found guilty of treason. There is no mercy in our heart for those who betray the ways of the Naburu. You will be imprisoned here until we decide your fate. 
As for you, Akin Tobias, face us and fear not. We value your loyalty and your battle scars. We shall grant you mercy. Mercy, my queen, M mercy. <laughs> mercy of a swift death. Well, how now, are we going to get the secret key now? You don't want to disturb the people more by executing a patriarch. Yet. <clears throat> we hope this will leave you with something to ponder over, Maltus. Earthling, you have chosen the right side. The side of justice, order, and respect. Mm, I don't know Let about that. Let us thank you by making you one of the Royal Guards. And very likely, something more, when the right time comes. You will help us protect Wardinia from- Your Majesty, be old. Fortress is under attack. Rats again. How unsurprising, yet unsettling. So the slaves are revolting <laughs> because they're sick of their treatment. Let's see if we can get both sides of the We need to head back at once. Barabufus can't hold the fortress effectively with the limited crew he has. Another rat uprising was only to be expected. Oh no! You Take two more men and the Earthling. Provide him with weapons and armor. Stay here. Guard the place and make sure the Patriarch doesn't go anywhere. You, Marshal, and the rest of the Guard shall follow us to the fortress. Let's squash this pesterous rat rebellion and feed the bodies to his pet. Then we shall return to investigate further. Give me those ranks again. I'm a hellbarder, and you're a hymen? <laughs> a howman. Soon an oberleiten. One day, maybe even ober. This is giving me headaches. Who's the arbor now? Gracchus? Gracchus? He's just a marshal. And marshal fits where in this? Mostly into Her Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody I told you that. Anyway, Gracchus is not of the Royal Guard. He's just a grunt that got lucky. Her Majesty would deserve a proper king. Keeping this fool around makes her weak. Thank you for taking the time to explain those things to me, Decanus. Everybody was so blunt here. Well, I'm a sharp guy. <laughs> Our pretentious patriarch over there would agree. I noticed. Was all the beating really necessary? No, but it was fun. And I think that a bit of a hardcore treatment was perfectly in place for doing such a poor job guarding the core. The core? I see we will need to work on your knowledge of our mythology and religion. You can do better than the rest of our race who loathes our old wisdom these days. But let's bask in the glory of our primeval times over breakfast, maybe. I'm too tired to do the stories justice now. And honestly, I'm also a bit pissed we're missing all the action. You think it's serious out there? Baro Buffus is not a young, mighty warrior anymore. And his splendid armor can't protect the whole fortress. And Baro Buffus would be... The protector of the fortress. And the spider person. What? <laughs> Just a joke. Oh. Well, I hope the Queen sorts things out soon. I can't wait to get out of this shithole. What was that? What? You don't think this is a complete and utter shithole? No, that noise. What the- Oh, shit, 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 shit. Fuck. Let go of me, you shithead. Let go, let go. <coughs> Fuck my leg. Report you to masters. Last one. Help! Oh. Your 
useless human junk. Uh oh. Well, I'd say he's dead. Hemis, <clears throat> don't you dare die on me. You were probably my first and only friend around here. Silver, you, you need to, to, to warn Her Majesty. Go, the fortress. Let me save you first. We'll worry about the Queen later. No, no, not me. Save people. The fortress, that's where that rat attack took place? But that's over the sea. Uh, how do I get there? Uh, ship. Right. Bad idea. Down port. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. What do I tell the Queen? The attack. The, the core. What? The core. Decanus? Decanus, speak to me. Decanus. Turtle ring. I wonder what the turtle ring does. He takes two from Will and puts it into life, huh? Who wants this? Alright, so. There are a lot of different things that can happen up to this point. I have a completely different playthrough, just because of one or two different choices, just so you guys know. Uh. Now this is where if you wanted to do co-op, you could do co-op. Captain's Log 1030880721. First day awake on Wardenia, Forcefield State, satisfactory. Needed to modify the terminal extensively. Luckily, I can update the rest remotely. After modifications, coverage will be sufficient to make the belt work properly almost everywhere. With the last update, the belt is now fully operative, also as a life support system. Meaning if I get killed, it revives me. Marvelous. This should provide me with enough leverage when dealing with those Naburu technocrats. Which I recall was never easy, even after the ship's training systems uploaded the same language to our brains. So, this should help if the discussion gets heated. Note, aging is still a factor, so not full immortality. Focus on the possibility to revert to a younger physical self while retaining all the information, later when there is time. Project Holo help. Mixed results. My hard light companion is operative and proves useful for simple tasks. I still wasn't able to grant him fuller autonomy. To fix list, extend the range to make useful for long distance errands. Add a mouth and basic AI for easier communication and feedback. I wish I could wake the rest of the crew. The mission seems to be gravely endangered. Ida insists that protocol doesn't allow for that says we've lost enough personnel already. True, but the logic behind her reasoning seems flawed. This way, she might lose me too. Oh well. Now back to work. I need to learn a lot about this place. Over. Okay, now you, yep. Yeah. There you go, read that if you want to do co-op. Okay, so we've got 450, so we'll get like one. Let's put in strength. So we got no gloves, hellbard armor. Three potions. We can roll with seven, seven pounds, we're at 489, okay. And then if you want to turn your gold for essence, you can do that. There you go, folks. There is an idea of what we're doing here in this first game. 
So if you want and you want to see more, smash that like button let me know. As always, I'm the Rev. Keep your heads down. Your shifty SOBs up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.